If you are looking for a portable amp DAC, the KA1 is a total firecracker. <laughs> So Theo sent me the KA1, said tell us what you think. I used to sell a lot of Theo at Headphones Canada. Uh, the DAPs, the DAX, the amps, the full kit and caboodle. I still got uh, an old A3 lying around here which I pull out every now and again for a bit of a retro playthrough. This is actually still quite a good unit. But I have to tell you the KA1 has really, really impressed me. I'm just gonna try and get that, that cover. I mean, it's just really pretty all the rainbow bits anyway that's got nothing to do with the product this thing is teeny tiny it is an amp DAC uh, it comes in two different types you can have a lightning adapter or you can have a USB-C adapter if you have the USB-C adapter it also has a USB-C to USB-A adapter so here in the studio I have a, a an old MacBook Pro which just has USB-A but in the office, I have a MacBook Air which has USB-C. So, they include an adapter. Isn't that good? And I just threw it away. Isn't that good? Yay. Now, the KA1 is incy bincy It's about 10 grams. It's really just a small twisted cable. Hopefully, you can see that. Check out the review, full review on the website. I'll link to that below so you can see the HD photos. And then it has the front and the back and USB-C. Simple, right? And a 3.5 mil uh, jack plug there for you to plug in your headphones. The little circle that you can see on here, and again, I showed this better in the photos, is um, actually an, an LED status uh, light, which tells you what streaming rate that you're doing on the KA1. If it's blue, you're running at below 48 kilohertz as a sampling rate. If it's yellow, you're looking at 48 kilohertz and above. If it's green, it means that you're pushing DSD tracks through the unit. And if it's magenta, or what I call purple, because I have no taste in color, then it is rendering MQA files. So those four different LED statuses tell you where you're at, and which is quite cool. This is a perfect little number for your smartphone, which is why obviously you've got USB-C or Lightning. So you can just go straight into the back of your iPhone or your Samsung or whatever phone that you're using. Or as I do, I use it in the office. I have a set of Beodynamic DT1990 Pro headphones. Those are one of my favorite headphones in the world, but they are 250 ohms. So I took them to work the other day because my Fostex THX100 mass drop unit, the ear cup broke. Those are my favorite in office headphones because they've got a closed cup and the Fostex TH, just beautiful, beautiful sound, but they broke. So I took my DT1990 Pro into the office, plugged them into my uh, MacBook and was listening and I was just, you know, like it's been a, a long few weeks and I was like, why? Why are these so sad? These these are like my favorite headphones and I just I just was was wondering why they were so sad. Then of course I had the revelation that these are a 250 ohm headphone coming straight out of my uh, M1 MacBook Air which probably really doesn't have the kind of DAC that I would want powering those headphones. So, plug in the KA1 which is, you know, it's a teeny tiny unit, but I thought let's see how it goes. Boom, back to life. The 1990 Pro just sounded awesome source brighter all the mids all the all the range just kind of lifted there was just much more sonic impact across the full sound signature and i was smiling again and working better because of it so how does it do with some of the lower impedance headphones so at 16 ohms it's going to be pushing out 43 milliwatts at 32 ohms you're looking at 45 milliwatts at 300 ohms, you're looking at about 13 milliwatts. At 600 ohms, you're looking at about 6.8 milliwatts. So there was enough there to drive the DT1990 and it certainly brought to life the MacBook that I was using as well as the Pro that I have at home, which is an older model. I mean, everything that we play music through has some sort of DAC, but this really does elevate it to the next level and especially on your portable devices. Packed in here is an ES9281AC Pro DAC. It can handle 32 bits at 384 kilohertz at the top end and DSD support right up to 252. So for a little unit, it really has got quite a lot going for it. 
And that's not just to mention the price. I mean, this thing is super affordable. At around 50 bucks, you're getting such a great little unit. Is it perfect? No, but I would definitely give this a solid probably four and a half stars. I mean, the 1990 Pro can, can be a little bit fussy and do like to um, have a bit of oomph behind them, um, as do uh, the HD 600s. But this, I really feel like did a really good job in keeping in mind that it's just so portable. So instead of having, um, you know, my uh, amp DAC stack that really would never leave my desk, I can take this on the road with me and especially leveling up your iPhone or your Android. Some people have complained that there are some Android phones which haven't like really uh, played well with this. And some people saying that with the USB-A adapter it hasn't played well. I've tried it across multiple devices and have, have had no problems. And somebody complained that this uh, kind of twisted braided cable, again, um, images better on the website, uh, kind of came undone over time but that doesn't actually affect the sound quality. So for me, I'll probably have this hardwired as much as possible into my uh, MacBook uh, M1 Air at work, and then I might actually get another one with a lightning adapter um, for my iPhone on the go, especially, because with all the travel uh, that I do, the A3 is just, it's just a bit big. It's kind of a pain in the ass, actually, but the KA1 is perfect, because I already have two, you know, by the time you get all your laptops and tablets and headphones and passports and stuff like that a little unit like this just to up the quality of whatever you listen to is definitely a thumbs up so i'm loving it jade audio fio ka1 portable amp DAC. check it out check the uh, review below for as i say the hd photos and um, some other tech specs on there if you're interested uh, any questions drop them below and have a great day talk to you soon bye for now